Hi, it's the heating consultant here. Hope you're okay. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to repair a Pro Series thermostat to a BDR91 wireless relay box. So I've taken the front cover off the uh, Pro Series thermostat just for clarity, okay? So if you're having issues with your Pro Series thermostat and it's losing its communications with the relay box, it's normally because the relay box isn't a BDR91. So this is a BDR91 and some of the older Honeywell wireless relay boxes were what we call a HC60NG, which was a rectangular relay box. But the problem with those relay boxes is they were a one-way communication device and this is a two-way communication device. Um, so you're going to have some issues and problems there. So my advice is if you've got one of them, you need to swap over to a BDR91. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can purchase those. So the Pro Series thermostat, to repair it, um, it's, a, it's a very basic thermostat. So it's got three buttons on the bottom and two on the side. Um, to repair it, we need to go into what we call the binding menu. Okay, so that's the binding menu. So on the thermostat itself, I'll just put it down here like this. Down here, we've got a menu button down on this left-hand side. This is the menu button. And then this is the minus and the plus button. Okay, what we've got to do, we've got to press the menu button and the minus button all at the same time. Okay, so if you press minus button and the menu button, press and hold those. And you'll come into what we call the binding menu, okay? And you'll see that 14A will be flashing, okay? And it will say the number one. So what we need to do to repair it is when it's flashing 14A like so, we need to um, click the tick button. So this where the tick is. So we've got to click the tick button and we get number one flashing, okay? To clear the memory, we've just got to click the tick again, okay? So when we're on one, we just click it again. And what will happen after a couple of seconds, it will go zero, zero, which indicates that we've cleared the pairing, okay? So the binding that was on here, we've cleared it. Okay, so zero, zero, as you can see. So if you press the tick again, it will take us to 14B, but we need to go back to 14A. So if you press the plus button, it will take you back up to 14A. Okay, and we're ready now to proceed to pair. Okay, so what we've got to do, then you need to go off in your house, find your relay box. Like I said, if you've not got this relay box, you need to replace it really, because you will have issues with these two pairing to each other. Um, I know a few sellers on eBay say you can pair them to the older generation relays, but you can't, okay? You need the BDR91 or an, or an equivalent to this, okay? So on the relay, what you've got to do is you've got to press and hold the button for a full 15 seconds to clear the memory on this relay box, okay? So you press and hold the button and you keep holding it like so until you get the fast flash, which ha happens about 15 seconds, okay? So this is the fast flash. Okay, so it's off for like half a second and then it flashes on, okay? Okay, once you get there, then you press and hold it again and you hold it for about five seconds until this flash changes into the slow flash, like so. Then you can let go, okay? Then if you go back to your thermostat, what you need to do is you need to then, instead of flashing on 14A, so you press the tick, you change this to number one by pressing the plus button, like so. So you've got one flashing, and then you press the tick button again. I'm gonna try and get the relay in focus as well. So you press this button, which is the tick button, and it sends a signal to the relay box, and you get a one one, so you get the message one one shown on the thermostat. And on the relay box, the lights will go out, okay? Once that's happened, so you've got one one on the thermostat and the relay box lights have gone out. What we do, just press the tick button again and then you can press the backwards arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Press the backwards arrow, which is this one, and then you'll be on the main user menu. And then to test it, what we wanna do is wanna press, and, press the plus button until you get the temperature raised above the actual temperature which is displayed on the screen so we're going 22 and a half we've got 17 on the screen the relay box comes on like so okay if we then turn it down so if we turn the thermostat back down below 17 degrees so if we set it to like 14 degrees or something like that what should happen is the relay box should go off like so okay and that then just tells you that everything's working okay and that the pairing signal between the thermostat and the relay box has been successful so I hope that helps. 
I will put the um, links in the description that if you've got an older relay box to change it to a, a newer updated relay box and I'll also put a link to where you can buy the Pro Series thermostat if you've got an old CM927 or a CM921 thermostat that's got a faulty display screen. These are a really good thermostat to, um, to change that over to. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please just uh, put a question up in the description, um, in the questions area, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks very much.